Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our multiplayer Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 The Old Gods. As always, I'm your host, Kalvin, playing as... I forget what the hell I started as. Either way, Caden's now Denmark, East Francia, horrendous combination of hell. A beautiful anymore. salmon pink color. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Brad joining us as usual. He's down here as Venice, slowly being consumed by the Byzantine Empire. I give him a that's week. uh well replace Italy with Brad to be in. That's you'll have me. Yeah, we'll see. Prepared invasion of Italy. Good luck with that. And over here we have joining us for his first season, Ben, or the Cortazar, as he's known yeah. here. Yep. Oh, I have a question. On the player screen, why does Brad show up in stripes? Uh, I don't know. I think it's because he's a Republic. Okay. Because uh, we're all solid colors in these stripes, and that's yeah. weird. I don't know. I okay. think it's because he's a Republic, but anyway. Eh, alright, so I've just finished my grand subjugation, and now I need to... Now I should be starting to get converted to a culture soon, if I can try... And find somebody who... I really do need to try and find someone who's gregarious, though. If I can find a gregarious person, because at this point I've got a decent enough set of stats, all I need to worry about is trying to convert my culture. What do you want? Actually, wait, I shouldn't be trying to convert my culture yet. I haven't formed the uh, empire yet. I need Iranian for that, don't I? Damn, I do. Mm. Some guy tried to claim the Emirate of Badajoz, so I destroyed it. Eh, reasonable. Yeah, because it's too big for me to have at the moment. I mean, if I form an empire, then I might reform it instead of forming any kingdoms. Well, I mean, if, if no one should be able... Even if somebody forms it, it's irrelevant. Mm. I mean, Badajoz is only four provinces. The problem with the original Badajoz you had was it had, like, three duchies in it. Yeah. I mean, I prefer not to have any. I prefer not to have any dukes at all, any emirates, because the less emirates I have, the because I mean, it's like I'd rather not have anyone one step below me. I'd prefer two steps, so they can't just directly claim my throne. Um. Okay, I guess. Why does my Why does my capital only have it? Oh, it's because there are no levies. I stole all the levies from my capital, and so there yes, is no bed defending yes. it. You are becoming my marshal, sir. So when the Shia Caliphate is inevitably annexed, that's when the rise of the Shia event happens, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so no one has any freaking clue. Nope. Oh my gosh. What now? <laughs> ben. <laughs> you just... You want to become Norse? No. I don't know, I just, just it said ask about Allah, so I clicked it. No. Oh, that was like a good idea at the time. <laughs> and he just being became Norse. Norse, didn't he? Fuck you. Ah, ha, ha, he's Norse. I can't stop it. Uh, I only had that one option. Yeah, like, that was in course. your hands. That was in your hands, Ben. You just decided to go Norse. How fucked are you now? Now you have to go, hopefully, get raised by another Muslim. Yeah, go get raised by a Muslim. If you can, find one who's gregarious. Because I remember gregarious and diligent are two traits that I know will uh, reduce Conveniently enough, the guy at the top of the list is gregarious, and he's gregarious, kind, and he's a Muslim. Yeah. Well, go for it. Yeah, you're going to need that. <laughs> Okay. That, like, I don't be mad at uh, Caden for that one. Yeah. That was nothing he could have done. First of all, let's no, let's. I can't give. I can't give away the uh, temple I have because I'm. Because then I'll give it away to a Norse guy. <laughs> you fool! And that's Ben's yes. brother shouting, "You fool!" Which is actually, I don't know if he's paying attention to the game, but surprisingly accurate for what needed to be said. You fool. I just got a Catholic trying to convert me. Yeah, that'll yep. happen once you're pagan. 
Actually, there may come along a Muslim preacher, which could I'm be okay useful. I'm okay with that. Actually, my current preacher's a Muslim. Yeah, but... Wait, no, never mind. He foreign, can't do anything. Foreign oh, no, preachers. he's leading troops. Foreign preachers may be Muslim, um, and they may come to you. No, if I send my uh, current... Or he's a seer now. If I send him to my capital, can I... Can he convert me back? Uh, yes, yes, he can. To stop him from leading troops. So long as he is Muslim. Yeah, he's sunny. <laughs> well, good. In other news, I have made a terrible mistake. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Oh well, shit happens. Shit happens. Kingdoms crumble. Mhm. Mm oh, I'm only at three percent war scores because occupations. Brad, I'm burning stuff for you. <laughs> All right, cool. Since you're not doing a very good job of burning it for, for yourself. That is I don't one have time. strong ass castle. Holy! What? What's happening? Just the fact that this castle has 1,180 men in it. Like just flat out, wow. I am known as a lion. Yes. <laughs> All right. Kitty so goes raw. June. And as usual, uh, various planes are flying over my house. Oh, uh, Italy and Byzantium are fighting right now, Brad. I noticed that, and I am going to kill over him. what? Oh, de jure war over Bari. Ah, yes. Well, they'll throw their armies at each other, though. Yeah, exactly. And you know, you got to declare war before June twenty-eighth. So exactly. now may not keeping be the worst time. Clock. I'm keeping an eye on the war score. It's already 56% in favor of B the Basilius. So we'll see. I think Italy's armies are already shattered. Which is good for me. Because, yeah, there's no way, you know, 58% yeah. of the war score came from just occupying that. Yeah, Italy's down to 7,000. Yeah. From the 12. Seventy-two percent in favor of Byzantium. Yeah, their armies are dead. Will enemy occupations tick against me? It depends. If it's for what they want, yes. Yeah. It's a claim on my throne, so. Uh, in that case, I don't believe so. If it's a claim on your throne. Cursed war for M Musa's claim in Mauritania. Yeah, then they have to control or occupy the entire Mauritanian area. Assuming they don't have every province that you own in Mauritania, then the war score will not tick against you. Okay. Whereas However, I, I, the bad news is it looks like you only have one province in Mauritania. <laughs> which one? I don't even know which one it is. It's the one that's occupied. <laughs> oh. Well, I can still win this war. It's just, <laughs> it's just there are a lot of vassals and I have to fight them all and... The fact that you went Norse totally didn't help your scenario at all. No, I was already at war, so going north probably wouldn't change that's the goddamn so, thing. Hey, your vassals hate you more. Uh, yeah, but one, they already hated me, and I don't think any more of my vassals are going to fight me anyway. One thing, if I have a raised mercenary group, if I lower them, can I appoint my own generals? Um, if, the, the only requirement for uh, a general, being able to appoint a general, is that there is at least one of your own soldiers in that flank. All right. The Magyar I'm nomads are no more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna launch it. Good. <laughs> Good. Religious authority is up to forty-seven percent, and uh, if the temple in I Vac, am Norse now. The bishop in Vac needs to convert, and that's it. Reform <laughs> the Norse <laughs> faith. Yeah, I'm good. Like, I actually have 818 piety. I may go for a county conquest on Omsk. I might just be able to flat out reform the Tengri faith in a minute here, guys. Oh, man. Raise that, the levies! That would actually be really awesome if I pulled that off. How and many uh, event troops did you get, Brad? I had, like, 12,000. Nice. Yeah. If one of my own soldiers in, in, in the flank... And in other news, I believe Caden is now going to attack Italy for a county conquest on Grissons. Why? Eh, it's in Burgundy. I don't really care. 
if, and they're if, busy, so why not do it? Actually, you could probably win a one-on-one -on -war, one -on -one war versus Italy. I know I could, because Brad's also fighting them. <laughs> no, even if you if Italy wasn't fighting anyone, you could probably win. True. Because since you're Norse, I think that makes you able to... You can just bump up your crown authority and no one can do a goddamn thing about it. Nope. No? Oh, I thought that was a thing. I wish. Ready to go. <laughs> anyway. Uh, goddamn. Civil Wars. I need to get my capital back. Yeah. Hmm. And, see, the vassals in the north don't really have any significant numbers. So, if you're looking for a pagan to religion to convert to, can I suggest Tengri? I'm not converting <laughs> to a pagan religion. You already did. Oh, yeah, oh, I was gonna I'm say. To, so. I, yeah, I know, but I've got my guy trying to convert me back, and goddammit, there's <laughs> consumption in my capital. Well, with any luck, get, you die, and... So I need to get my there. army the hell out of there. Your elder brother, who's an imbecile, is your heir, so... I'd rather not have my imbecile elder brother. I actually think he's the one that's trying to claim my throne. Probably. No, actually, the person that's trying to claim my throne isn't related to me. Eh, who knows. I don't think. Um... Oh, right, it's this guy that's in the middle of a... Sana, Sana, who is apparently he's also um Sayed. Sure, there are quite a few Muslim Sayed rulers here. Yeah. I mean, have you noticed how many children you have with four wives? Fucking ton. Oh, but once I crush my southern vassals' levies, they should surrender, because once they run out of men, fighting a war is kind of pointless if you have no. Soldiers. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you're winning a war, there's no point, because you have no men left. <laughs> Alright, 48%. <laughs> yeah, um. Kumania. Declare war. Oh, I can't do county conquest on Omsk. It's good thing my arm. It's good thing my army is dramatically larger than any of my vassals, so I can attack across a river and the penalties don't even matter. The penalties matter. No, the penalties don't even matter. My numbers make it. My number. I have enough men that it's like I can attack across a river and still win the battle and suffer maybe like ten losses. Yeah, two to one's a good thing to have if you're going to attack over a river. Yeah, especially considering the fact. Oh, on the bright side, I can loot people now. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I mean, I don't particularly want to loot anyone, because I don't need to. But... Oh, never mind. Yeah, the uh, Shia Caliph, he's still alive. I think, actually, I still... No, never mind, they controlled my one province in Mauritania. Interestingly enough, it's not ticking against me. Um, it should, but... But it's I... not. However, the one province that the rebels captured is affecting the war. Yes, yeah, that will. Uh, because, yeah, yeah, the claims on thrones are a little weird. Um, I mean, I couldn't give less of a shit about the rebels at the moment. Like, my my enemy will end up crushing the rebels at some point, probably. But, I mean, the mo worst they'll do is assassinate one of the guys I've got on my count. But, like, I don't really care about my counts. Or Diamond does. doesn't. <laughs> it's like I hit, I press a button, I get another like twenty of them. Counts, yeah. Get your counts, yeah. Only uh, fifteen gold a piece. Damn it! So where am I gonna get a third holy site? Um, Chancla. Oh, Chancla. Man army. Chancla, get to work. You, you're a better chancellor. Chancellor, I get to work. Get me a claim, damn it. <laughs> Wait, where is my marshal? Why is my marshal training ships in Snassen? More importantly, where the hell is Snassen? 
Oh, right, I told him to train troops because I needed more levies. <laughs> I think. Oh my god! And then, Sultan Shamir's the second of the Shamarid Sultanates just declared war on me so he can take Granada. It's not yeah. even the Duchy of Granada isn't even doesn't even exist at the moment. Who the hell are you and yeah, who the are Duchy you? Of yeah, oh, it's a holy it's war. You can different. wait. It's a holy war, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Intrigue. Convert <laughs> to attacker's religion. You have a button for that. Yeah, but that makes me wait. No, he is a sunny. Oh wait, he is sunny. How oh, convenient. Just am, motherfucker. Wait, wouldn't that make his holy war invalid? Because I'm. That's now the standing. point. <laughs> point. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> How useful, isn't it? Oh god, what the fuck, West Francia? Did it just go to war on you? Uh, West Francia, two by eight, against the two by eight Emirates, so one of my vassals. Yeah, for, that yep. sounds like something they'd do. God Thanks. damn it. Is he with you? Francia can fuck off right now. I mean, I'll defeat my vassals, get my land back. And then that'll make them invalid, I think, because the person he's fighting isn't. Yep, charging. it will invalidate. Problem is, that's assuming I can win the war before his fourteen thousand army manages to conquer what he's aiming. No, for. he he's gonna get it. Damn it! That means I have to fight West Francia at some point. Don't we all? Hang on a second. Do I have any? No, I don't have. Any, I don't have any children yet because I'm only ten. God damn it! Because if I had a child, I'd offer to marry um create an alliance between myself and Denmark, and then we just... <laughs> Religious Customs level 2, Majesty level 2, if I... Tolerance level 2... Oh, shit, I just accidentally alt-tabbed by clicking on my second monitor. Um... This is gonna be a while. Probably. Are you slow sieging, Brad? Yeah, I'm slow sieging. I don't want to lose a lot of soldiers. Well, let's try sure. speed 3, then. So, let's see, should I attack the Shia Caliph next? If you could destroy the Shia religion, that'd be great. I could, that'll cause the rise of the Shia, and, um... Oh wait, destroying the religion will cause the rise of the Shia? Yep, and that will fracture the Abbasid Caliphate in half. Damn it. So, <laughs> you're right, I should attack the Shia Caliphate. Good, no, please don't. Good arguments. Please don't. If I don't, then that eventually the Abbasids will problems. finish them off anyway. That would raise so many problems for me. I actually have no idea what triggers the rise of the Shia, but I'm thinking it's got to be related to this. I assume it would raise problems for me due to the fact that I'm currently... Wait, Fran... Okay, France apparently didn't get the land. Wait, no, yes... Wait. No, Asturias did. Asturias oh. was the war leader. Oh, god damn it. I see that. Oh, I'm playing a beating of Asturias off. anyway, so uh, who cares? Just wait for Asturias' death. He's got two children, which means one child will likely get Asturias and Castile, another one will get Galicia. Yeah, I'll just... Damn, that doesn't yeah, I'm planning on destroying on. them anyway, so who cares? Heir to the Kingdom of Castile, heir to the Kingdom of Asturias. Yeah, and... I'm kind of busy, so I don't really have a chance to look. So... Uh, a... There is no heir to the Kingdom of Galicia. Interesting. Oh, that's when that when I mean it gets who would it pass to then? Orth Ordonfo. Hang on, I'm checking manually. Let's go okay, ahead. It's okay. It's going to his eldest son. Okay, so Castile and Aragon will go to someone else. Basically, if you look at the Jitter Kingdom map mode, everything that's Castile, Navarra, and Aragon will go to one person. Asturias and Galicia will go to the other. So. <laughs> All right. So, let's try this again, Caden. All right. Now that I know what not to click on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's a very, very important lesson. Because I'd rather not get educated by the AI, because the AI gave me gluttonous. Yep. AI education AI is bad. Dump when it comes to. Um. Anyone seeing Sweden as sixth, fifth, just fold still? <laughs> what? Um, Do you guys still see Sweden as fifth, just fold? Yes. Yep. I hate I saying that word, it's so hard. That symbol in the middle. <laughs> yes, fifth jod. The, the symbol in the middle is basically th, like th. That's th weird. Fifth jod. Fucking Swedish weird letters. It is really weird. Or Nordic weird letters, or what have you. Eh, and I don't know. I'm winning the Civil War now, because my enemies have run out of ma 
have run out of manpower. That's a valid reason to be winning. Like the largest army is 800 men, and that consists of three of the vassals all with a single ar- with all uniting their armies. Don't act like that's not a valid reason to be winning. Yeah, it is a valid reason. I mean, look at how Germany lost to Russia. Yeah, they simply... Yeah, whoever has... <laughs> Actually, wait, look how Russia it, won every war in history. It doesn't how about matter that? what your tactics are if the enemy outnumbers you 4,000 to 1. Yep. Still, they'll just drown you in corpses. If Hitler taught us anything, it was that. He also, he also taught us that nobody actually knows how to invade Russia. But I think Napoleon proved that a couple, a long time beforehand. Brad, the battle bears lot lagging, pausing the game. Yeah. Brad just <sighs> falls behind. Nobody knows how to invade Russia. It's like step one: don't invade in winter. <laughs> there is no step two. To be fair here. I mean, I'm fairly certain all of the advances were in the middle of the summer, but the Russians just stalled until the winter. Yeah, and then they won the war because they, because they're the only ones that are prepared to fight in Russian winters. Yeah. They don't. They're not even prepared to fight in Russian winters. They burn their cities. Actually, that's the um. That would be scorched earth tactics. Yeah, they just did that so that way the Nazis couldn't get any supplies yeah, through. Yeah, destroy it when you leave so the enemy can't have it. I know what Scorched Earth is, thank you very much. Yeah. Germany and did it to itself too when it was losing. It's a solid tactic, but then if you recapture it, then you've just... Then you capture Guess it. what we did to Korea. Um... Okay. Hey, bitches! What? The Shia Caliph is now my vassal. Cool. Okay. Yep, fuck you. <laughs> okay, that's... I. None of us are Shia, so whatever. Hey God, I, can I revoke that title of his? Can I be the Shia Caliph? Oh. No, you're not Shia. You can convert to being Shia. I may consider it. Oh, uh, why would you do that though? Because then I could totally become the Shia Caliph. Yeah, but why would you want to be Shia? Shia are heretics. Filthy, filthy heretics. To who? Me. Who are the heretics to? Actually, are there are there any Muslim heretics? To- yeah, there are. Like, the Ibadi are in Oman, they're a heresy. Uh, the Ibadi are also... Actually, hell, just look at fucking Marutania. That place is, like, heresy central. You've got so the Ibadi, the Druze... I need to purge all the heretics. Yeah, you've got the Ibadi, you've got the Druze. I mean, even over here, I've ended up getting, like, Mazdaki, which is a Zoroastrian heresy. When I walk in the room, all the heretics get purged. And then... I need to get my crown authority up to medium, but... Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and invent the flamethrower and then purge heretics. <laughs> so... Anyway. You know what I'm gonna do? Because the only armies are coming from... All the armies are coming from south of the straits. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go across the strait and start beating them up. I'm at 78% war score. 